setting these up is such a pain in the ass. Oh, bro. Let's go that one. Forge calls with me. Hopefully, within the next 45 minutes, I will gain a reasonable level of control. It also sucks how waterproof sun cream is the only one I can get, which effectively means it doesn't come off in the shower unless you've been wearing it all day and it's already on your clothes. But even if you use soap, it doesn't seem to come off. It's like, yeah, it's great if you're at the beach, which, to be fair, is the only time anyone here you can wear sun cream. Uh, it's not great when you're literally putting sun cream on at fucking... Um, like in the evening, to go for an evening bike ride, where it's still sunny and you still won't get sunburned. a file.
Oh my god. Hold on. Fucking hell. Why is my wine configuration... Why has it tried to open a GPX in... Wine... Br oh, it's tried wine browser, hasn't it? I don't want you to use wine browser. It's a terrible thing to do. Well, that was clearly a mistake. Didn't even know you could do that with GPS files. Apparently you can have two um, GPS files. When you plan a route with a GPS file, apparently you can have two routes inside of a route file. The second route file was a mistake. <laughs> second tour, as it were, when I uploaded it, was a mistake. Because it just went from where we start to just down the road from where we start <laughs> through houses as well they're literally dead straight line not even cutting around stuff but oh well at least I've got a route for tomorrow if I get dropped and left behind again Just, just get me off recently. I don't know how to spin a car around anymore.
Let's see if there's any other balls ups. Start it here. Play defrag. That one then. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> really annoys me when other people make GPS routes and don't check that they're actually clean. Like, that there's no random, we're ducking down this road. There was one on the route that I've just cleaned up that there was a couple of them. Some were reasonable, you know. You kind of click on a junction that you want to go left at, but it kind of goes straight on, then left. It's, you know, up the road a bit further and then back and then round. It's a bit shitty, but whatever. Deal with it. And there was one just like 5k down a hill. To a random place. So what the fuck? It's like clean up your goddamn tracks. And just make sure, you know. Go around, make sure that all of the marker points are actually on the road rather than on a random gravel pit. 
because I'm fine with going in a gravel pit. But the problem is everyone's fucking head units on their bikes start beeping at us. And everyone's like, are we taking a left here? Are we taking a left here? No, it's a fucking gravel pit. Or you pull a plummet into something and it says, you can't use this path. Why? What, what's wrong there? And you go to it and it turns out it just ducks into a field for a bit. Just down a footpath because someone's clicked on the footpath. I've got to tidy. I'm glad, glad that I checked this one rather than just dumping it on my computer. Because it was fucking horrible, to be fair. But oh uh, well. I've saved us six kilometres. About four miles. Which speed are you giving me? How is that? What the fuck? Okay, that makes no sense. So, I wanted to change the average speed so that it doesn't tell me that I lost. So I say it's the slowest average speed. Uh, for like the chasing man, you can't turn it off annoyingly. To estimate the time. It's gone from... So, if I'm in good shape, the middle of the five settings, you can have, um, it's an intermediate ride. Good fitness required, mostly well paved service, surfaces and easy to ride. Now it's an expert ride because I've gone down to average. Very good fitness required. So by being less fit, more fitness is required. The only thing that's changed, realistically, is the uh, total time it's going to take. But you're doing it slower. And in my opinion, longer rides in terms of time but slower are a hell of a lot easier than faster. In my professional opinion, wind resistance is pretty much my answer. Wind resistance exists. The faster you go, the more you got to force through it. You can ride really easy, like I went for a ride earlier. Went really easy, like literally making sure my heart rate didn't get up anywhere. Just resting, just resting, and uh, well, not resting heart rate, but zone two for anyone who knows. Not above sixty percent of my maximum heart rate. So I'm sitting there, doing that, nearly falling off my bike on certain bits of hills where I did have to pedal a bit harder because you know it got to the point where I was spending most of my energy to stay upright. I was like, eh, I could probably go like twice as fast because it will just keep me upright by going, move, actually moving forwards. Very steep hills, you know, you do 10 seconds a bit higher, but I tried to keep it below as much as possible. 
So I kept it below. Controlled my breathing. I did 19.7 uh, kilometers an hour average around a yeah, not a terribly hilly route, but not entirely flat either. And certainly not in an aerodynamic position because I was mostly just trying to like the the harder you pedal, the less your ass hurts and the less your arms hurt. You're putting more pressure through your feet. If you're not pedaling very hard, your ass is going to hurt more because you sat down. Like more pressure's going through your bum, less going through your feet. So I had to. So I was wiggling around, not in an aero position. Definitely wasn't going aero tuck because that always, you know, makes you want to pedal harder, makes you want to go faster. So simply just boogling along. 19.7. To get 22.7, three kilometres an hour faster, it's a hell of a lot of work. And it, what it usually means is that people have gone fast for certain parts and slow at others rather than consistently kept the effort on. And yeah, it needs just... It's got to be consistent effort. We're doing long rides now. I'm sorry for bitching and moaning. I think I've bitched and moaned about this constantly. It's just so annoying to me. Just like, come on. can get it done. That's so horrible. I'm watching the Giro d'Italia on the side screen. And they've got the the sponsors box that they have in the advert and uh, interviews. And it's side scrolling all the sponsors. It's like, what the fuck, why? You can fit them all on. Like all the oh no, you can't qu they can't quite fit all the sponsors on equally. One sponsor gets one less because of the way that they're diagonally spaced. Surely they could have just designed a fucking better one or used a bigger screen. So that it didn't have to constantly scroll and make you feel sick.
That was how I got the um, bicycle race achievement. <laughs> Accidentally crashing up on one of those. Because you couldn't get it the cheese way by the time I got it. Where you go and uh, hang yourself off a cliff, basically. Poke your front wheels off a cliff and it just doesn't notice. Because they increase the time. Something. I can't remember how they fixed it. But they did.
Bloody hell, it's fucking hot. I need to go and kick, unfortunately. Nice one. Cheers, Turbo. Splendid work.